Time for nickels. Let's crack into this and see if we have circulated nickels or new nickels. Oh, bumping the camera. All right, let's see what we got here. And we got circulated nickels. All right, we have ourselves a hot. Although I would not mind getting some 2024 nickels because those are looking like they're gonna be some very low mintage nickels. So we'll see how that goes. And maybe I'll get a box at some point, but we'll see. All right, well, until then, let's get into these nickels and see what kind of goodies we got in here. Intro, take 473. Cue music. <laughs> Cue coins. <laughs> All right, awesome. Now pick them up, I'm not rich. All right, roll number five, and we got ourselves our first find, an old 1940 out of Philadelphia. There's no mint mark over here on this edge here. So that's a fun little find. We're gonna put it up here. Hopefully find some more good stuff. Roll number 11, and we got one here that looks like it's older. Just has that look to it, that old nickel look. Let's see what year it is. 1941. 1941 out of Philly. There we go. It's another old nickel. We'll put it up here next to the other one. Roll number 15, and we've got a 1959. This one looks like it was in the ground for a while. Someone dug it up, cleaned it off, and threw it back into circulation. That is a Denver. That is a rough one, but it is an old nickel. 1959. Counts as a find. Roll 18. We have ourselves a, another find. 1958. Oh, there's a really big scratch down there. I mean, it is circulated, but that's a pretty long scratch. This one is in Denver. Nice. There is another find for us. And we're going to put it up here. Roll 22. Got another 1958 here. This one is a Denver. Pretty dirty. That's a dirty 58. One up here with the other. Roll 24. Come across one that looks older here. This has that old look to it. Old nickel. Um, doesn't have a mint mark, so it could be a 60s. But let's find out. What do we have here? 1941. It's a 1941 out of Philly. Boom. Old 29. There's a couple of interesting things in here, but we come across a rear face and mint mark here. Let's see what date that is. Oh, 1954. How about that? Nice. There, I was thinking it was going to be a 64. Ended up being a 54. Um, there are a couple of, see, there's a 64. That one was one of the looker. Let's just take a quick peek. That's a really gunky nickel there. Um, that's an 80s. Yep, that looks like the only find for that roll. So, cool. We have 54. Nice. Roll number 35. And I have another old nickel here. This is a 1952. This one's out of Denver. All right. Let's put this up here. It goes in here somewhere. Roll 35. A few coins back from that 54. Got a 1946. Nice. This one is a San Francisco. Nice. That is our second coin out of this roll. Awesome. On number 41, I've got a foreign coin here. It is a Canadian. Second coin in, in 1987. That is a 1987 Canadian nickel. All right, I am five Canadian cents richer. Here I was thinking I was not going to have any more finds than a roll number 50. I just poured out roll number 50. And right here, let's see if we can get that on camera. Let's zoom in. Right here. Do you see that? Do you see that? 
Got a buffalo. Final roll of the hunt. Let's take a look. Uh, don't see a mint mark. There's a ring of death on it from the roll wrapper. So this was an ender at one point. 1927 is it? Yeah, 1927. Nice, that's a 1927 buffalo. Very cool. It's always great to find a buffalo in a roll. Okay, well, time to wrap up here. Um, we did have less finds than the normal, uh, the, the, the normal box. A uh, little lower than average. Uh, so, you know, it's going to happen from time to time. But this box did not put, disappoint, but it held out to the very last roll. And we got that buffalo. So it's always great to see that buffalo. And uh, yeah, 1927 Buffalo, find it a box. This is a Philly. And uh, nice to see a Buffalo that you can read a date on, especially in circulation. Um, and then we had one, two, three, four from the 40s and five from the 50s. One Canadian and two 2009s. Not bad for the finds here. Now last, uh, last video, I meant to go over mintages for the 2009 and I didn't do that. I forgot to put it in video, so I have my red book here that has the mintages in it. So we're going to take a quick look at those. So let's see, 2009 PND, um, 39.8 million, and Denver is 46.8 million. And you can see all around here 600, 700, 800, uh, 200, 300 million, uh, 260, uh, 229 million, 400, 500. So you can see this is a low, um, very low mintage for the area, uh, for those years surrounding. A very low mintage for the year surrounding. So let's take a look. Um, if we look back, you know, see hundreds of millions, hundreds of millions, billions. 1.5 billion there in 2000 out of Denver. Another billion from the 99s. Then we're back into the 100,000s. And we go back through all 100,000s, all 100,000s, back into the 70s. These small ones here, those are proofs. So the proof sets and such. Um, so 1968 is a 91 million, the first uh, under 100 million mintage. Sent uh, between 1968 and uh, 2009, and then we're gonna go back here 65, and we have 62, another pre, uh, another under 100, 61 under 100, and then 60 is 55 million, and 59, 1959 is how far back you have to go to find a lower mintage than the 2009. It's between 1959. And 2009 was the next lowest mintage, and 59, and then 58 was 17, and then we get back here. There was a couple of hundred thousands through, but you can see most of them were about uh, about 50 or so, or less than 50 million. Some of them are a little bit higher, and you can see some of the getting to some of these key dates. The uh, 1950 is the lowest mintage, Jefferson, at 2 million. 2.6 million there. Um, so yeah, that's why um, I'll set off the nickels, the 2009 nickels and dimes. Um, those were lower mintage as well. Um, now there is some talk uh, about the current mintages of the 2024 nickels. Um, it looks like they've stopped production on the nickels and dimes. Um, and I don't know the ones on the dimes, but the two, 20, 2024 nickels right now are lower mintage. Um, I think it's 29 and a little bit into the 30s for the Denver. So 29 million for Philly and 30 something million for Denver. Um, last I saw. Now that could change at any point. They could decide, oh, we're going to go ahead and mint more nickels in, two, in 2024. But halfway through the year. It's looking like we have another low mintage year for nickels. So, cool. I just figured I'd share that. All right, I do have some nickels over here. Not a whole lot. The box was pretty junky. Um, on a hole for nickels. Nothing nothing really nice in the box at all. 
Um, so I got some I'm going to check against the album and see what we got, but might not fill any spots. Um, we'll check these and see if there's any holes and we'll go from there. All right, I'll be right back and let you know how those, uh, how the albums are looking and uh, we'll wrap this up. In the first book here, we got two fills. We got the 1946 out of San Francisco that's going to fill the spot here. And while this isn't uh, the nicest nickel, a 1961 out of Philly, I'm going to go ahead and fill this spot as well. And for the third book, I've got a 2009 out of Philly. I haven't put one in the spot yet. Um, and I get a lot of these and they're all pretty circulated. So I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, drop this in the spot. Hopefully you'll find a nice, nicer one to put in here at some point. That is all for the fills. All right, so for the books, we have three spots filled, and that's pretty good to fill three spots. None of the other nickels upgraded that I had set aside. There were, like I said, there was not a lot of nice looking nickels in this uh, set, and all the nice ones were like 2023 and 2023s, 20, pretty much. So <laughs> everything else was pretty trashed. Um, but filling three spots, not bad. Um, I really don't want to put in the, the circular one into the, into the 2009 spot, but. I don't come across a whole lot of the 2009s, and um, I'm trying to start to fill these uh, holes in this third book. Um, and from 2007, looks like I got 2007, 2008, 2010s um, to go there. And then some of those in the between 2007 and 2010 do need to be, or 2020 do need to be upgraded as well. Um, because I'm just I'm going to go ahead and try to fill those because it's been, um, I don't know, 20 plus hunts for the nickels. Are we in the 30, 30, 30 episode for these books yet? Um, but anyways, I was trying to hold out for nice ones, but I'm going to, I'm going to try to put in at least decent ones in those holes. I'm still going to hold out a little bit, but I'm not going to try to hold out for nice, the nicer ones. All right. Well, I do hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the thumbs up, helps me out. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think. And yeah, thank you very much for watching, everyone. Have a great day. And I want to give a very special thank you to all the viewers who have signed up as members. Thank you very much for going above and beyond to help support the channel. I very, very much appreciate it. If anyone is interested in becoming a member, feel free to check out the link below. Again, thank you very much for your support.